Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by an actress you've seen everywhere. Baywatch, Home Improvement, Charmed, and of course, Boy Meets World. We welcome Betsy Randall. Hello. Let's go Beyond the Mic. Betsy, in your drama thriller painter, Joanne is this loving figure that just wants the best for Aldous. How is this role challenging for you? Well, it it was challenging because I got to <laughs> I was given permission actually to, to explore another side of her and myself and so on, being the actress playing it. Um, it. the The challenge was really more of a joy than it was a challenge. It was a it was a gift. I, I can't even say it was really a challenge except for that we had to shoot it rather quickly. So that was probably the biggest challenge. And also I had lots of words, many, many words to say and learn. And uh, so I was always asking my leading character, I was looking up opposite Eric Layden, going, where are we? What, where are we in the movie? Because you're shooting out of order. That was probably the biggest challenge is you're not, you know, shooting in, in, a, in order at all. You're just doing it according to location. And that's, that's the way it works. In fact, the first scene that I did was the most dramatic scene of uh, this like life changing scene for my character, and I'm doing that first, which kind of gave me a, a, a window and where I was going as my character. So that was kind of neat. But in terms of playing somebody different than the mom on Boy Meets World, that's not hard. Now you watch the kids in Boy Meets World and help guide them through their acting. Yeah. How rewarding was it to see the end result 15 years later in Girl Meets World? Well, I, I just did a couple of guest things as the grandma, uh, you know, the other mom. And that, it was kind of weird on Girl Meets World. I, I loved it. I thought the kids were doing a great job. It was just weird to come in out of the blue and not be the only mom there. It was suddenly Topanga was the mom. So I had to kind of adjust to that. I I was so impressed with what, who they've become. The kids really did grow up to be beautiful human beings and, and actors who worked and didn't work and you know just like everybody else it's uh it was a big chunk of time it, it was a weird thing to be watching to be a part of that there was really i mean they started out when they were you know puberty <laughs> you know this just was a whole experience watching them just grow up um, i'm not quite sure how to answer that question any more than that Time's running out, so it's time for the Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There is no pressure. Favorite after-school activity at Nutrier High School? Well, I, I sang a lot. I was I went on to be a voice and theater major in college, but I was always singing, doing something. I was either in a show or in the choir or whatever. Um, so that was sort of my... I was always doing something creative. And whether it was acting or singing or both, I think of them as the same. And that was probably one of my biggest activities is doing something else besides just school. Um, so that was probably the biggest thing. And uh, just, I had wonderful friends growing up. I have three brothers. And my father was a singer and an actor. And so I had, he wasn't famous, but that was what was in the bones. So that's probably the biggest thing. Thing you do to relax? Well, that was pretty much relaxing. Um, I don't know. What did I do to relax? <laughs> well, we went on a lot of camping trips growing up and so on. I did that. Um, I mm, It wasn't like somebody was worked out or anything. We didn't work out <laughs> when we were that age <laughs> back in the 60s. Favorite snack? Oh, my favorite snack is avocado on toast. Very nice. Now, what's the movie you love to watch over and over again? Oh, well, uh, American President, um, uh, It's Wonderful Life, uh, any musical, King and I, uh, all of those old movies, Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals and so on, Ordinary People, good, good work, good dramatic stories, funny stories. Do you prefer to work on stage or screen? Well, they're so different. I love being on the stage. I played Amanda in Glass of Mandry. That was just heavenly. Um, I love being on the stage. It's where I, and I certainly sang a lot on stage, so I have to say that's my first love. But 
I love to, I, I love both. It's just a different world, you know, to be on a series for seven years. or It's, it's a different kind of pressure that you have to, you know, adjust to where when you're on stage, you've just got a through line. You go from the beginning of the play to the end of the play, and you're, you're staying in your story all the time. So I love that. Cake or pie? Uh, my apple pie. What's your favorite season? Christmas. Now, have you tried to guide your own daughter in the world of Hollywood? Did you try it and push her away? Oh, well, she's an actress as well. I there is supportive tips. I think uh, you, you kind of have to trust that you're enough, uh, that you play your truth in, in a part or in a job, and that pays off. It doesn't mean you... You just have to kind of know that this is what you really want to do. I think that was probably the biggest tip was don't do this unless you have to because it's a hard business. And she does. Betsy's Film Painter is now available on video on demand in all digital platforms, including iTunes, Amazon, and anywhere you can buy movies. Betsy, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. You're so welcome. Thank you. And that, my friends, is Beyond the Mic.